making it much more complicated than it needs to be. And the sun's going down, making it even more complicated than it needs to be. Yeah. Oh my god! I just saw the shadow! The shadow of a raptor! Yo, what's going on guys? Riot's here back with episode 2 of rebuilding Jurassic Park and Ark Survival Evolved. This series is going amazingly. Episode 1, we got blue right here, which... I don't know, dude. We had to start off with something easy because it's, like, not easy to just generally go from a starter on the beach to building your own Jurassic Park. But this was a good episode one. But episode two, we have to start doing some serious Jurassic Park-related shit. Leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys want to help boost this series a bunch. I just threw up some cringy-ass thumbs up, so you gotta help me out. I just, I just sold my soul right there. Now, you will notice one thing. I did go ahead and add this. I spent, like, two hours just gathering metal and all this stuff, like, crazy amounts of just building up vanilla-wise. Would have realized, like, what the hell am I doing? Why am I doing this so insanely vanilla? Like, it's a Jurassic Park series. Like, this is... I don't even have any building mods on here. I was just making it so freaking overly complicated. Also, click the link down below to check out these amazing Apex Gaming PCs, all of which you can get 5% off your next purchase using the code XRIOT. That's linked down below. So to kind of just, like, get this series moving in a Jurassic Park way, I went ahead and had an admin give us 100 syringe tranquilizer darts and a freaking... Primitive Dan 13 syringe tranquilizer dart weapon, which is like the coolest little Jurassic Park Dinosaur tranking thing ever. I'm pretty sure that this is what they used in the actual Jurassic World movie Like Chris Pratt used to drop all those Dimorphodons, so it's pretty freaking perfect I also killed or we killed a bunch of like electronic or mechanical machine tech tech parasaurs I forgot what they were called because that's like the only chance of getting a Electronics around here because today we have to officially at least get the Jurassic Park Jeep and start moving towards the Raptor paddock And like we need a we need a bit more electronics for that to happen I figured the perfect way to do it is to gather more Raptors for our Raptor pack and then like while on the adventure We just kill any tech creatures we see to go ahead and get that done It's, it's going pretty beautiful like these these like things we have laid out ahead of us if they if we accomplish them then it's gonna be I guess we should just have a paddock going way sooner than predicted. Or actually, as exactly predicted. I was hoping by episode 2 or 3 we'd have a paddock going. And I don't know, dude, without this, like, train gun, it was not going to happen. I guess it easily could have. So I'm just using blue to get the electronics. But it, it wouldn't be as fancy. It wouldn't be as Jurassic Parky. We can't be using a freaking crossbow to down raptors in Jurassic Park. It just looks like it's like the silliest thing ever. Plus, Blue was tamed at a really low level. She's not the fastest creature, obviously. She's like, especially for a raptor, she's rather on the slow side, so... I don't know. We needed a little assistance. Okay, this is the highest level Charlie in the vicinity. It also happens to be the closest one. Which is just fantastic. I'm freaking terrified. I haven't actually gone to tame any of the raptors right now, especially when that much... You guys move your giant fat asses. I haven't tamed one like stronger than uh than blue or actually any other one So if she dies right now, it'll be so freaking sad dude navigating this jungle is just bonkers man Good god <laughs> I haven't done it on something as slow and small moving as as blue just yet I don't think she could like in the movie could she even really carry Chris Pratt's weight relatively sized compared I don't think she could like she's a beast, but Chris Pratt's a ooh, that's risky Oh my god, I literally just need a few more electronics to get it, but if I attack a- No, if I attack the Stego, that's like certain death right now. Damn it, I hate having to be responsible. Oh my god! Are you serious? It's like the worst situation in the world. There's no way Delta's gonna- Charlie's gonna survive that. Absolutely no way. Oh my god! That's horrifying! Like, she's holding off Beast down there. I- I, I can't just see her behind the tree. I think we, she's as good as dead though, right? Like we can't just stand here watching all day. We gotta just accept the death of trauma. She's doing good. She's like chasing something off in the distance there. This might be, this might just work out. Honestly, taming her in this jungle looks like a freaking nightmare though. Like the worst situation ever. It's just so much negative crap in every direction. This specific task may be infinitely easier once we have our Jeep already. Just unwrap their back, it's a little more difficult. With a slight mechanical- Oh, dude, she's chilling! How does she have such health after all that crap? We try and bait her away from the nonsense. I thought she was on us. I think she got distracted. Oh, God! There's so much- so much shit going on right now. Dude, Charlie is just whooping- I can't believe she's not even bloody. I want to assist. No, Blue's not ready for such a thing. She's just a child. I guess we just have to watch this situation. Kind of like witness it in horror type type thing. Hope to God that it works out in our favor. Dude, the aloe's bloody, but so is Charlie. 
No! Charlie's so bloody. She's on the run. Get in there, Blue! Oh, God! Uh, oh, shit. Wow, that thing is fast. All right, let's just lure you over here this way. Do what we can to assist the situation. If I could save this raptor, I'm gonna. These are billion dollar assets, damn it. That's something they would say in the movie. I can still hear this dude kind of behind me. Okay, the battle music stopped. By video game law, that means the confrontation is ceased. Let's go ahead. Did she find other aloes? That chick is crazy. I can't, oh, she's dead now. All right, well, that was all. That was all for something. All right, looks like it moved us on to this other one. The tracker auto selects a new Charlie. Life goes on, it, it, it gets over him pretty quick. I feel like I'd much rather find, I need to find more tech parasaurs, dude. Or just lone tech stegos, cause if I had a Jeep, this would be so much easier. This dude also might be across the land in a much more difficult way to obtain, but we can at least head in that direction, which might benefit us. Okay, I see damage indication. Okay, it's only level 108. Okay, we've got this. She's got reinforcements on the way. But it is gonna die. This thing's actually barely dinging us right now. Oop, this is the part that stings greatly. Oh my god. That shit sucked, but it was so worth it. The bugs! Good god! Oh my, get, get off of my creature's nuts, you savage monster. There's so much intense tickle stuff going on right now, but look at all the electronics we just got off of this. I seem to run at my ass. Oh god, it's a snake! Nope. That's where I draw the line, dude. Couple of snake bites. Locking, knocking Blue asleep. I don't think so, damn it. I feel kind of stupid. I just remembered last night I was so zoned out. I gathered a few tech stuff with a pickaxe. I forgot how much more Blue gathers, and now I feel very, very stupid. Blue's a beast, dude. She took it like, God damn it! Bugs! I'm freaking bugs! I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> They're so scary, dude. If this isn't the most beautiful place to run your raptor down the mountainside, I just don't know what is. And you know what? I think I do know what is. So I think it is. That was the dumbest series of words ever, but the initial point stands just fine. It was a beautiful place. Okay, so not gonna lie. We ended up at, back home pretty fancily. Now we're just going this way. It's actually nice. As long as we stay in the tropical zones, everything is gonna be all right. I have, I have given some thought as to where we're gonna construct the paddock. There's a few open grassy spots. Cause relatively it's gotta be on an open grassy spot. I don't know like Lost Island that that well, but it sure as hell can't be in like a volcano or, <laughs> or like the Arctic. I mean nonsense. It's like a cold blooded reptile it must be kept in a tropical place. All right, these are very expensive assets. You want it to die? It must be out billions of dollars, no millions. How much, like, like, how much, okay, so if an Indom was, like, 50 million for an Indom, so a Raptor's probably, like, much cheaper. I'd imagine, like, 5 million to make a Raptor. Wow, dude. I mean, that's, like, I, I could work for that throughout my life and acquire a Raptor by, like, my 40s. Like, damn it, can we just hurry up and make dinosaurs already? Wow, is this a child or is this a full, it is a full, dude, that's crazy, because it's, like, I keep mentioning in every video that mod where some dinosaurs are small and some are bigger, but like that's the tiniest parasaur I've ever seen. Like the raptor towers over it. Maybe not towers over, but slightly bigger than it. That's pretty crazy right there. I love that mod, dude. It kills me that Ark doesn't have that naturally. It kills me that you also can't like find babies naturally in vanilla Ark. Like that, that, nothing, nothing or like fertilized eggs. Nothing makes sense anymore. Unless you can, and I've just been playing modded for far too long, but I'm pretty sure you can't. Ooh, this place looks super Jurassic Parky. I guess just any open grass field, I suppose. We have enough like vegetation mods on here and stuff to recreate any of the plant life located in any of the creature cages, but but we still need like obviously a basic floor and like more importantly a uh, something a level level land. I don't know any uh any like paddocks that exist. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Any paddocks that exist in extremely hilly areas and dinosaurs are breaking ankle or something. Oh god, reinforcements are coming. Oh no, they don't care. Why did I think they care about robots? That's kind of racist, if I do say so myself. Every man for himself, because he's not organic material like you are. Oh god. Come on, Blue. I know you're a it, buddy. You got this. Oh, ho, ho. It wasn't really even a close one, but it was just scary. You don't like seeing your creature that exposed to death. 
Okay, we should have enough to make the Jeep now. It's 500. Yeah, we just got 280, and I have a bunch back at base, too, because every tech drops a buttload. So that's pretty cool, but we're so close to Charlie at this point. We might as well just keep on pursuing till we get to that look just to see what's going on over there, even though it'd probably be so much easier to get her with the Jeep. Whoa, dude. Dra like old school Raptors, Utah Raptors versus Micro Raptors while Jurassic Park Raptors run by. There's just so many... uh. So many raptors. Oh, these grassy fields. I get a good vibe from this grass. Betwixt the toes of my raptor, it inspires happiness and joy. This is good ass grass. This might be where we do it. Unless someone has some better suggestions down below, some coordinates they'd like to comment that uh, would aid in finding a better spot. I said it at the beginning of the series, but I really haven't played Lost Island much up until this, like, these new. Oh, oh, shit, dude, that's it. That's too perfect. Like that, that flat. Pla plateau spot up ahead right over the raptor's head that's got to be where at least the raptor paddock goes like they don't all have to be necessarily right next to each other i'm pretty sure in the park they're like a few miles drive from each other each of them oh shit everything's fine oh good we're going in the cold also let's make the climate our enemy too why don't we all right dude she's just chilling right there looking gorgeous as ever so let's just go ahead and just Oh, for th oh, shit. Hang on. Let's just do it with these guys. Wow, Blue's actually a beefcake, dude. She's just taking the poundings right now. How is she able to take them on so well? I didn't realize that Blue was so strong in this mod. That's nice. Blue got some absolute respect, dude. Like, she's taking damage, sure. But the way she's putting it down, like four savers, that's pretty crazy right there. I hope, I, I hope it was, or I wish it was more like this in the freaking movie. I was so offended when that, when that hunter poacher dude, like, literally just shot Blue with, like, a pistol caliber level bullet. And she, like, went down and almost died, needed surgery and all that. I was so offended by that. I was like, damn, dude, in the other Jurassic movies, Raptors needed, like, rocket launchers and shit. Okay, sweet. We got some vendas. Karatas las hemorrhages con esta. Okay, well, I got the word hemorrhages out of that, which means it cures hemorrhoids. No. If you're hemorrhaging blood then it should cure it so i take it as it's some sort of little medic thing i like it i'm gonna use it did it heal me it did that's awesome because i took some medics right there looks like i'm doing a full animation for it too all right sweet that actually might be a vanilla thing i i i, I literally don't know anymore all right you little fart kind of don't want to go towards the argent but i don't want to really freeze my ash off for that long either i assume these darts are going to be rather beast though charlie what are you doing with your life Chilling in the nothing. Wow, these darts are legit. That's a that's a Jurassic. They even they even sound awesome coming out of there. How many is it gonna take? Realistically, I should get back a little bit. At some point, this thing's gonna move a little and like could come at me. I'll die very fast. I should let these things sink in, but it's like how much time do they need? Can I just spray them? Why are they made to be sprayed out of the gun if I'm not meant to spray him? Riddle me that one, huh? This was my concern. Woo! All right. Okay. We're all angry right now. Okay. I don't know what just happened to my bullet. I'm, a little, I'm really offended. I'm really offended. All right. I don't know how the hell we just survived that. We're busy putting on freaking bandages right now. Let's get out of the cold if we can. Just spray this dude. I just zoned out so bad. Like, I probably made some pretty stupid faces back there, but it was survival mode, damn it. All right. <laughs> Shit got crazy for a second. I have no idea how these darts even work or how many it's going to take. Normally, I'd assume Charlie would have gone down by now, dude. Like, how many darts is that? This thing's a freak. Absolute freak of nature. Looks like she's on the run, so she has to have at least some sort of insane amount of torpor sinking through her. Why I didn't bring food, I don't know. I was a little unprepared for this. I think I'm so used to our other ser series where we have, like, hunger mods and stuff that... Oh, shit, that's what I was worried about. No, my God. What's going on, blue balls? Blue, where are you going? Blue! Woo! I hear big feet. I hear big feet approaching. A lot of shit going on right now. Were you running from a UD? That would explain why you were running, and that would explain the big feats. I am confused, though. I've clearly been pushing Blue to too many limits. I'm bugging out a little bit right now. I wasn't prepared for responsibilities today, all right? 
I mean, I don't eat raw meat, but I don't want to starve to death either. It's a sticky situation. Well, don't I feel ridiculous doing this butt naked right now? But it must be done. All right, where are you at, you son of a bitch? I'm making some fur pants after this. I didn't think you'd be up in the Arctic. Like, that's just nonsense right there. Now I'm slowly falling backwards. I made this point earlier. This cold-blooded creature shouldn't be in the cold. It's in a hole. What are you doing in there? This creature's a little broken right now. I can tell by its lack of artificial intelligence with pursuing me. But the mod isn't exactly that new. It's actually pretty old, which is why I've been paying to commission my own Jurassic Park dinosaurs. But there's no point in paying to commission a Charlie Delta Blue and Charlie Delta Blue. Charlie Delta Blue. Echo! Oh my god! There's no point in commissioning those because uh, they're already in the game. And they're god damn it! Oh my god! What did you think was gonna happen? Honestly, I thought it was gonna drop any second. I am at constant surprise how long those darts take to do anything, dude. Like, are they actually even sleeping darts? Was, did I read that correctly? I think I've been shooting them with like sugar pills this whole time or something. Cause like, call me crazy, right? But the darts don't seem to be doing anything. A potent dart full of tranquilizing potion, potion, right? Right? Full of, full of shit, more like it. I don't necessarily know how to go. I don't even want to bring blue up there, dude. That, that thing is a freaking psychopath. That thing is a murderous monster with no emotion whatsoever. With like broken AI too. So it's like, it's scary in its own sense also. It won't even like, just exist doing its own thing. Oh crap. Come on, broken AI. Come on, broken AI. Put a lot of eggs in that basket. I put a lot of eggs in the broken AI basket. Okay, okay, okay. We might, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I am, I am, I'm, I'm a little, okay, okay. I'm, I'm pretty confused why it took more than 50 darts to put this thing down so far, but it is, it's a level 300, but like they're freaking heavy tranquilizing darts from a mod. They're not even like standard ones and even standard ones would have gotten that dude to sleep. I feel like we should have scaled the stuff prior as opposed to going in this. I mean, what's more Jurassic Park employee than failing to capture a raptor asset and instead getting eaten by it, right? Oh my god! Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Can we take this fight? We usually can handle some pretty crazy stuff. Come on, Blue! Atta girl. Well, I'm just crafting sleeping bags over here. I haven't given up on this creature yet. I want that rifle back. But he's just like camping it, dude. He's just camping my stuff. No, he's not. He's right there, Johnny. He didn't camp it at all. Wow, Blue, you just spamming the raptor calls, aren't you, buddy? I mean, at least the Jurassic Park helmet maintained integrity. That's all you need at the end, right? Just to make sure the helmet maintained shape. So you're able to get back in to the part. If you'd have held still, it probably still would have missed. But I could lie to myself easier. See, that one was just shameful. I have no practice with these things whatsoever. I'm just gonna keep spraying your ass, but I'll gradually move away to a different, farther back spot where it's safer. At least I'm safe on this rock now. We've gone back and forth for a few minutes, but I'm like safer. The answer is it might get to the point where it's, I should just be letting it stack, right? It's cause this mod used to be different. Like I now realize anyone just watching this is gonna think I'm a jackass for just spraying these, but it used to just build up a lot faster. Like, it, that's why the mod was fully, like, almost a fully automatic train gun. Because it was required. Like, their, their freaking torpor could repair so fast, too. Now he's calling for help. I think we might have to stick with, like, normal darts, though, dude. Oh, that's some bullshit, bro. <laughs> yeah, I think we might have to stick with normal darts. Even normal darts with blue, I was, like, spraying. But, like, it still worked. You know what I'm saying? She still went to sleep. This one's being tricky. Where are you? She blends in with the trees, dude. Where are you? Oh God! Terrifying. Terrifying way to introduce yourself right there. Good God. As we approach our last darts, we must remember, this, this is no one's fault. But most importantly, it's not my fault. Most importantly, beyond anyone else's fault, it's not mine. You are a goddamn freak of nature, is what you are. I'm gonna juke me, I'll juke you, punk. What's going on here? Where'd you go? Juking into the trees, huh, sucker? It's crazy fighting her in this jungle area, or in this like forest area, cause she blends. God damn it, I fell for it. I fell for the classic double fake out juke. 
All right, okay, all right, Charlie. I'll come back for you once I have a, a different gun and a freaking Jurassic Park Jeep. I have to go deal with my failures now, but at least Blue's fine. That's all that matters. Charlie, this level 300 Charlie could have killed Blue. She's a freaking psychopath. I'm getting my helmet back. I'm getting my helmet and my gun back. Most importantly, the helmet and the gun. Yeah, there she is. Faintly see her little silhouette <laughs> Can't see my crap though, cause I forgot to turn on item beacon thing, which is just like the most useful thing in ARK. Every time I found my bag up until now has been nothing short of a miracle, but now I think I died in a bush, making it much more complicated than it needs to be. And the sun's going down, making it even more complicated than it needs to be. Oh my God! I just saw the shadow, the shadow of a raptor in the bottom, like on the right side of the screen. Holy shit! Okay, this is my last sleeping bag. You know what, dude? We basically, after the electronics we gathered, I could basically make my own train gun anyways. And the helmet's just metal. I'm out of here. I'm going home, all right? We got what we needed to make the Jeep. These bitches is crazy. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we had to restart the server so I could have enough weight to carry this stuff because it was set to nothing. Crisco is a freaking legend for helping me do that out of nowhere. Okay, so now we should have enough to carry this crap, right? As was my electronic stash. Good, good, good. And now we have enough to make the Jeep. Oh my god, the Jurassic Park Jeep, which I hope to God makes our taming dinosaur life easier. No matter what, it's gonna be easier. It was only so difficult today because we put all of our heart and soul into that freaking gun, which honestly just betrayed me those bandages are awesome i'm so making a bunch of those before going into battle next time but but the the, the gun betrayed me but i'm gonna truth right here boom, boom oh my god it's beautiful it's got the lights it's playing all the it's got the antenna doesn't have malcolm bleeding in the back seat looking all sexy with his shirt torn open but we can have that later Oh, it's a big moment. It's actually pretty scary because Ark is usually super buggy with their vehicles. Like, you guys remember that tech Jeep that can't drive for, for anything for its life? Dude, I'm always so scared that it's going to be like that. But, all right. This is actually this is actually pretty amazing as far as Ark vehicles go. Oh, my God. All right. There we go. This, this is, like, it may look kind of ridiculous, but that's only to anyone who hasn't, like, driven the actual Ark vanilla buggy before. It's the most glitchiest thing on the planet. This is the only way to have a car drive around an Ark. So, it's just, I don't know how the game is so insanely good at dinosaurs, but their actual vehicles are so ridiculous. There's, it's one of the biggest mysterious things in the universe. But either way, you guys see the way that forest just gets destroyed as I go near it? I wonder if that does trample damage. Okay, it doesn't do friendly trample damage, thank God, which means... Blue could ride along next to the Jeep. I mean, it's got pretty good handling. You, <laughs> you can't knock the handling. All right, buddy, let's go. Oh my God, this is so freaking great. So now we just legit have our Raptor buddies following our Jeep. Oh my God, this is fantastic. Holy shit, this thing can hold so much stuff. It eats so much food also. Look at that guy just, <laughs> just, just vibing in there like crazy, rocking his head back and forth. It's a little too fast for Blue. She, she's not the fastest Raptor. We'll get faster ones down the line, but I wonder if this does trample damage. I gotta actually test this out. This would be the greatest. It doesn't, and I guess that's only fair. Yeah, it would ruin the entire game actually if we couldn't be near a single um, if we couldn't be near a single dinosaur. And the whole land clearing thing is actually perfect. Because if you guys remember the Ark Tick Jeep actually gets stuck on like every little rock or tree it becomes undrivable for the most part that's why it's never seen anywhere in anybody's thing or anyone's world ever but this this solves everything because as soon as you drive up everything just explodes right in your face before you even get there so it's like there's no chance of you getting stuck on anything because nothing exists once you make it there drive it in the forest and just straight up knock down every tree and destroy every rock that i come across before i even get to it what an amazing way to clear a bunch of land and also simultaneously completely destroy an ecosystem. That's just beautiful. Wow, look at that. It's just gone. That's awesome right there. Okay, so I take it we're pretty freaking invincible in this thing. Do not bring it in the water. I mean, it's the little steps. You know what I'm saying? The freaking little steps. We have our Jurassic Park Jeep and our Jurassic Park Raptor. As long as every episode we move up one big step to our Jurassic Park theme park, then everything's going to be okay. I guess that next episode, that leaves us 100% with the paddock, though. That's, like, all we're left to get. But this is pretty awesome, dude. The series is going great. Okay, so we have episode one right here. Blue and episode two, the Jurassic Park Jeep. Oh, they look gorgeous next to each other. Just gorgeous. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end this video, though, because I get low blood sugar. And I'm freaking starving because me and Blue are wandering around the woods for, like, hours. But, yes, this, with this stuff combined, next episode, Jurassic Park paddock for sure. So, yeah. Leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.